the Yellow Coast, um, where the um, main campsites are. We're here to do the bird survey for this year. We haven't done it for a while. So we're up here doing the shorebird survey. Um, we do the threats around beach nesting birds and obviously count all other birds on the coast. There's a lot of threats um, here. There's obviously wild dogs, um, foxes, cats, um, and fishermen. The fishermen with their quads along the beach. Um, we try and get them up dry high up on the beach, but keep a bit lower to keep out the shorebird nesting area, especially the hooded plover. We have put signage up around um, about 2011 12, um, trying to educate the fishermen about the beach nesting birds, to look out for them. Um, yeah, just be careful. In 2009 I started down here doing the um, campsite definition and the track rationalisation work, um, the Yellow to Rangers. We started off doing that because it's a popular Mulloway fishing beach. Um, people come from all over Australia to sort of catch a big fish along this coast and so we decided to get in and do something to stop um, the native vegetation getting destroyed. And, trying to keep the fishermen to define tracks and stuff like that. So after that, we were prompted by the Yellowwood community to do a Mulloway survey. Because there was concern that the Mulloway populations were declining. We'd come down here and tag Mulloway satellite tags to see, you know, where they migrate to and sort of what depths of water they go into. And, um, yeah, we ended up sitting down here for quite some time fishing um, to catch these mulloi. They had to be quite big fish to tag. One of the other projects we had down here was um, sorting out the debris on the beach. A lot of debris collects here, especially up in the corner near Twin Rocks. Uh, lots of debris off the ships and rubbish that fishermen left around, all sorts of stuff. Know, trying to get rid of all the plastics on the beach. Uh, so we used to come down here once or twice a year and up at Murdy Yarra Sand Patch is another spot. We're uh, getting much of the debris off the, off the beach. Yes, yeah, so we're just heading back to Sajina from the Yellow Coast. We've been out there the last couple of days doing shorebirds along the public sort of section of the Yellowder IPA coast, the granite's up to Twin Rocks, um, yeah quite a long section, sort of 30, 40 k's. Just looking at the shorebirds out there, mainly the beach nesting birds, so four species, hooded plover, red cap plover, sooty and pied oyster catchers, which obviously nest on the beach, but we also take note of everything else that comes through. Lots of migratory stuff that lives at the beach as well as, well as other beach nesting birds. And, so they're not important, but other species of uh, <coughs> terns or gulls or anything like that. So we're heading back, looking at what we sort of saw the last couple of days. It's a pretty busy coast, which is is good. You know, it gets lots of people out there, which is not bad. Um, but you know, results are looking a little bit low. We don't have had a good look at the at the figures, but so lots of evidence of fox and dog. Numbers uh, out there, which is a bit concerned, the fox especially. A lot of beach debris, so we took a bit of beach debris off of that. We'll have a chat with the Yellow Rangers. I know they're doing a bit as well about what they've got off in the last couple of months. Um, and a lot of these birds need help from, I guess, a lot of these predators that are, are getting them on the beach. It's pretty hard for them. They, um, you know, a bit of human pressure from fishermen, but they've also got coastal influences, big storms or heat waves or anything like that can take a bit of a toll so this year's been a bit a bit crazy like it's a, so now it's trying to rain again in February. Yeah a lot of this work is important just to try to solidify populations, keep them going. A lot of the migratory stuff as well. As much as they don't breed in Australia they need really good wintering grounds. They breed in Siberia and head across along the coast all around Australia but a lot of this is pretty important times, put some condition on and hopefully get a bit healthier before they need to go back to Siberia and it's a pretty
pretty big flight. So you want them on the beach. You don't want them to have to deal with foxes or cats or beach debris. And a lot of this beach debris comes from ships, big ropes, and everything else which is causing problems on the beach. But yeah, you've got to keep these sort of things going. Keep working in these areas. Uh, into the future, otherwise it's going to be pretty bleak for all of these little guys. They need as much help as they can get. Uh, we're putting a lot of obstacles into the success on beaches, so you know, moving forward in the next few years, it'll be good to do more more work on feral predators. <clears throat> Looking at the fox numbers if they are really up high. Doing beach debris surveys <coughs> and cleaning, which is obviously good for sea lions and whales, and beach birds, all that sort of stuff. It makes beach look better too. Uh, so yeah, we just have to see what we can muster up.